Rocket Box Theatre presents Early Woman by Misha Jones. This piece of audio theatre is the sixth in the series of Rocket Bites, our digital season made in association with the Sunflower Foundation. Smug, 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 smug. I never doubted you, mine Führer. Smug, smug, smug. People said it couldn't be done. They said I was crazy, but look, look at me now. All right, I'm done. Deep freeze. Uh, hang on, I wanted to say a few words. You from the ice, though we do not claim you or seize you, from your blue and oh, frost picked. Lovely job, Dylan Thomas. Come on, let's back her away. Freezer three. Was she fit? Should do. Do you need a hand? No, no. She's mine. All mine. Come in, Lab 2. This is Lab 1. Are you receiving me? Over. Oh, a little bit too loud and a little bit too clear. Over. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Martha. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Come to the lab. Uh, don't ask questions. See you in a minute. Pat, could you bring the thing for Martha when you come? Oh, I'm bubbly. Winifred Bay. Winifred Bay, come in. This is lab one at the Red Ridge. Hello? Winifred Bay, are you receiving me? Happy birthday! Thank you, Tim. Oh, I bought chess! Oh, my favourite. I'm a bit full for chess, though. Some other time, maybe. Hey, I've got a surprise for you. You're Chrysalay. They're moving. Or they were. Last night, we got it on video. Did you, love? None of them out, though? Not yet. Where's Pat? Is she around? She's on her way. And I hear congratulations are in order for you, too. Oh, Martha, you have to see her. She's in perfect condition. I don't think anyone's found anything like her. Skin, teeth, hair, even what looks like a fur hood. Fingers, toes, eyes closed. She was leaning against a rock, buried up to her waist in ice like she'd fallen asleep in a river. I didn't want to move her. She looked like she could carry on sleeping and sleeping forever. I suppose she would have done. You must be very proud. Thank you. Well, to be honest, Pat found her. I bet you're slightly in shock. Sort of. I think it will hit me when I'm home. Are you radioing now, love? I'm trying to. Bit odd, I couldn't get a signal. What a shame. Try again at lunch. The weather's meant to be getting worse. I'm not sure we'll get any kind of signal after lunch. Winifred Bay? Winifred? This is the Red Ridge. Winifred, this is the ridge. Try Great Rock. I'll just put this in the cupboard, shall I? The chest. Keep it safe for later so we can play. Sure, sure. Maybe Pat will want to play too. He'll take days from Great Rock, won't it? Better than not going home at all. Winifred Bay, come in. This is the ridge. Nothing? Nothing. Keep trying. It's it's just temperamental. I know. I'll try again in a bit. Oh, don't tell Patricia. 
If she thinks we'll be here another day, she'll kill herself. Or me. I can never get through to anyone. One winter, I remember, or it was just before winter anyway, I was low on water, which is silly, I know, when you're surrounded Happy by... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Patricia, thank you. Is this for me? Mm -hmm. How lovely. Champagne. Wherever did you get this? Oh, and I hear congratulations are in order. They called me mad. They all said I was mad, but I showed them. I showed them all. Well done, love. <laughs> oh. Tim, have you called home yet? You can come see her, Martha. She's just in the cold room. My beautiful creature. <laughs> Martha's scared of her. She is beautiful. God, Martha, she is so beautiful. Lovely, lovely. I want to call her Ice Mother. Oh, God, Tim, shut up. Are we cracking on with this bubbly, then, or not? This is celebrating in style, isn't it? Tim, glasses. I don't know where they are. Find some. Well, you put everything away. Yeah, I know, it's called tidying. And find a knife and some plates as well. Quickly, come on. Got there in the end. Martha, a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you for making us so welcome and feel so at home at the Ridge. It's been such a privilege to get to know you and a bit about your work. You're an example of incredible commitment and sacrifice for the sake of science, discovery, knowledge and conservation. And I'm sure that in 20 years, Tim or I will return here and find you as hardworking as you are today. To Martha, our inspiration. Cheers. Thank you. And to you both, thank you for putting up with me. I wish you would never leave. You've both been the most lovely company and I hate to see you go. Oh, thanks, Martha. Cheers. Cheers. And to home? To home. What will you do when you get back then, love? Ooh, have a curry, a bath, take my dog for a walk, ask my boyfriend to marry me, maybe? Are you sure you want to risk that? Want to say anything, Tim? Make a speech? Well, I was going to, but I think it's all been said. What will you do when you get home, love? Tim's going to get published, aren't you, Byron? Poems, Tim. And my memoir, in verse. They're quite good. A bit pretentious. Nothing rhymes. Cake? Oh, Pat, you shouldn't have. Straight out of the packet mix last night. Where did you get it from? Oh, I've got to say, this is really... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Has someone oh. had a nibble? Martha's had a slice already. Don't open it, Tim. Oh, God. <laughs> I told you not to open it. Uh, Pat, put it away. What's wrong with you? This isn't funny. Oh, maybe there were eggs in the packet mix and they hatched in there. It wasn't me, Martha. I'm so no. sorry. No, don't worry. Thank you. It was, it was a lovely thought. I don't know where they've come from. It's not your fault. Let's clear it up. Tim, have you radioed Winifred yet for a plane? Yeah. And? No reply. We'll try them again then. Winifred? Winifred Bay. Winifred Bay, please, this is Red Ridge Lab 1. Red Ridge Lab 1, are you hearing us? Over. Keep trying, love. Oh, I cannot wait to be away from her. You don't mean that. I do mean it. Do you want to come to Lab 2 and see if the bears are out yet? Bears? Get your stuff. What are your poems about? Being alone, Scotland. Being alone in Scotland. Sounds lovely. I miss it. I've had enough of everyone. I wish you wouldn't go so soon. I didn't mean you. Besides, it looks like we're staying here for the foreseeable if this doesn't decide to give it a rest. Come on now, Tim, cheer up. You'll be home before you know it. Actually, Martha, I'll go to the tower now and then meet you at lab two. I'm going to try and fix this satellite. I'll see you in the lab. Oh. What? There. Bear print. Now, you just relax, darling. I'm just going to take a little tissue sample. This is going to stink a tiny. There. That wasn't so bad. Just a memento for me, really. Who'd I mind? I just don't know when I'll see you again. You're going to London. To a university. Need to get you an education.
This is Red Ridge Lab One. Who's there? Over. Martha. Koala Pillock. You know them? Shadow people. They steal Inuit children. They knock on the ice. Lab two, this is lab one. Just gonna do a quick stock check. So any supplies you want them to bring in when they come and collect us, Martha, tell me now. Okay, over. <gasps> Ooh, angels of light. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Tim, lab two, hello. Tim, Tim, turn your fucking radio on, you moron. Tim. I really hope you got through to Winifred. The food's fucking rotten. Over. <clears throat> Martha, this is Patricia at Lab 2. Are you with Tim? Tell him we need to get a plane here quickly because we're out of food. I, I don't know what's happened to our supplies, but it's all gone bad. <clears throat> Maggots or weevils. Rot. Martha, is that you? <clears throat> Winifred Bay, this is Red Ridge Base. It's Patricia. It's Pat. <clears throat> Who's there? Is anyone there? Tim? Tim? Martha? Get off! Get off! Oh, no! <coughs> Shit! Tim! Oh, God! She stopped! She's got to be perfect! Don't spoil her! Tim! Tim! <coughs> Tim! Martha! One of you, please! Come on now! She's, there's fucking maggots in her! No! No, no! Why isn't this fucking working? Shit. Shit! Lab 2, come in! Are you there? I've got a fire in Lab 1. Shit! It's nice to know that you can't get it working either. Watch the edge there, Tim, love. You clipped in. It's the storm, probably. Used to happen a lot before you and Patricia bought the new kit. Top of the range, this satellite is meant to be. Piece of shit. Some of the old kit was from the USSR. In fact, a Russian team actually built this tower back in the 60s, if I'm remembering correctly. God, Martha, you really have been here forever, haven't you? Is any of that old kit still around? There's one more satellite, isn't there? A backup or something? If you climb higher, the old satellite is still rigged. Can I go? Let me check your ropes. You ever feel like jumping from up here? Well, the woman from Imperial College a few months before you, she did. And another. A boy. A young man, actually. Young man, yes, he did. Over ten years ago now, though. A lot of people are unhappy here, love, though I try to make it nice for people when they come to stay. But I'll admit, yes, sometimes you feel something bad when you look down, when there's whole months of darkness and no one's heard your voice, when you're not sure if you're human or some little animal. I've had dreams of being a fox or a fish that are so real, I wonder if I've died and come back again. Yes, I have thought of jumping, Tim. Tim! Tim, look! There? No, no. Up there. How could you get tired of that, Tim? We can see the northern lights from Scotland too, you know. They're called the Mire Dancers. <laughs> Cabling is utterly useless. Let's leave it now, come on. This torch is dying, let's try again tomorrow. Oh, bad weather tomorrow too. Well then, the day after. Martha, the weather stays bad. It's winter. 
We'll be here for another six months. Don't be silly, you're exaggerating. I'm not. I've got supplies, we've got food for months yet. We don't yet. want to stay. I don't understand why. Because it's the fucking Arctic. You might find some more of your ice mummies. <laughs> One is enough. Tim. Mother, I've seen them. Yes, lovely, lovely, no, beautiful. down there. Bear. Fuck, where? It's moving. I can't see it. It's watching us. There's nothing there. You don't see it. These fucking lights aren't making it easy to see anything. Your eyes must be better than mine. There, there, red mouth in the snow. I think I know that bear. She was here last year. The gun, shoot it. She's not attacking us. She will. No. Fucking shoot it, Martha. Tim! Give the rifle here, I've fucking had enough. No, she'll have cubs. Give me the fucking gun. Fuck you. I'm going to get that gun. This is lab two. Do you hear me? Tim, sending out a distress signal and I need medical attention. I'm burned. Tim, do you hear me? Fuck. Fuck. Winifred Bay, this is Red Ridge. Can anyone hear me? Winifred, is that you? It's the ridge, you're receiving me. I think I've got you on the line, you're very faint. Over. Oh, thank God. Thank God. We're afraid we found her. We have the specimen. We, we've put her in the freezer, but she's been damaged and there's been an accident. A fire. It's small, but I, I'm hurt and, and we have no power. And our generator's bit down and the storm, I think. Can you send a plane? Our supplies are depleted and we've got some kind of infestation. Can a plane get here? Over. You're very faint. It's probably our end. We've had bad weather and there's more expected. Over. Winifred? No, don't go. We need to go home. I'm hurt. I'm burned. Do you hear me? This is Red Ridge. We've sent a distress signal. Over. A distress signal. Over. If anyone can hear, please send a rescue to the ridge. Our coordinates are 82.25.02.7 north, 80.51.08.2 west. Repeat, 82.25.02.7 north, 80.51.08.2 west. Over. Help me with him. Put him on that gurney. Where's your gun? The rack. Tim. Get it. Give it to me. Martha, what's going on? Give it to me now. Tim? Tim, can you hear me? What's going on? He fell. The tower. Tim. Is he breathing? Can you hear me? Of course he can. I've got the biggest fucking lungs in this place. That means you're, gonna, you're ignoring me and that means you're a twat. Hear that? You're a twat. Lazy bastard. Got to stop pulling your weight sometime soon. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Go to the cupboard next to the rack. Bottom shelf, there's a file. Bring it here and a pen. Time? Pardon? What's the time, please? Um, 19, seven minutes past. Date? 25th October. 1988? Yes. Cold room, get in the freezer now. Help me then, fuck's sake, his body's crawling with them. With what? Maggots, weevils, you fucking caterpillars, Martha. I don't know where they are. Moths like ghosts coming out of his eyes, out of his nose, getting their little wings dust all over his skin, and they were all burrowing in the ice mummy as well, and the food and everything. Everything's crawling with rot. Did you say something, love? No. Oh, I thought I heard something. I've been hearing things. Can't you hear it now? Women singing or something. Women talking to me. 
what are you doing? I'm going to the tower. I'm going to fix this fucking satellite. Patricia! It's not safe! Shh. Did you hear that? It's the wind. I thought I heard someone shouting. You ever hear voices? No. My Tom talks to me at night in storms. He holds my hand and strokes my hair and tells me I'll be home soon, that sort of thing. He asks him to stay. He'll need to laugh all asleep and then he can go. And he does. He waits. Until I'm asleep. Or he thinks I'm asleep and then he goes back out into the storm. But I'm awake and I watch his back. He's big, Tom. I see him go. It's the worst feeling ever. I hate that. And then the storm just keeps going. And it's endless. That's a nice dream. <gasps> Patricia, don't go out there. This storm. Wait for it to die down. Wait for this bad weather to end. There's no rush. It's the fucking winter now. This bad weather is not going to end. You'll get blown off. We have ropes. I have to get out. Patricia, love. There's a bear out there. Get that thing out. What? That woman. That fucking frozen woman. Get that woman out of here. Throw her. Out. Out. She's speaking. What woman? What are you hearing, Patricia? You're panicking for no reason. You know you're just seeing things, hearing things. Cabin fever. Everyone gets it. The maggots aren't real. The voices aren't real. We're just in a lab. Look. Look at the chrysalis. My moths. That's all they are. Not maggots. Just my moths waiting to be born. Sit down here a second. Wait for your head to clear a bit. You've, you've had a shock. Sit down. There's no rush. No rush. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Tim had his accident because he just rushed around. You're rushing, you're rushing, selfish, very selfish to be rushing about, not thinking about others. Pardon? Gun. No. Give me your gun. I won't. The bear. I need it. The bear's not coming in here, is it? I'll lock you in, don't worry. Do not. I forbid you. You're not in charge. I'm going to the tower. Don't. Send a signal. A plane's on its way. Now don't do anything silly. Silly? Martha, please, could you just put the gun, the gun down? Go to the cupboard. Go to the cupboard next to the rack. Okay. Okay. All right. There's a chessboard. Take it out. Bring it here. We are going to sit and wait calmly until this storm passes. Black. Or white? White. Actually, I like to be white. It is my birthday. Black. Fine. White moves first. Okay. You go first. Martha, would you put that fucking gun down over there? So neither of us can touch it, and no one does anything silly. Nothing. Silly. No rush. Here's an idea. Whoever wins gets their way. I've lived alone for almost 30 years. I am very good at chess. No one to play against. I'm a good opponent. Oh, Patricia. My moths, my moths. I wonder if they're ready. Did you see them move? It's too dark. Come on, play. For God's sake, either shoot me or play this fucking game. Hold the lantern. Up close, come on. Okay, fine. There you go. Patricia, the bear, bear, bear. Patricia, let me out, let me out. Patricia.
Thank you for listening to Early Woman, written by Misha Jones and produced and performed by Rocket Box Theatre, with special thanks to Renee Miller. This piece was made in association with the Sunflower Foundation as part of the Sunflower Skills Club. You've been listening to Rocket Bites by Rocket Box Theatre. Thanks. Thanks.